Hey yo, how's it going everyone? It's your main man, Don. I'm back here with a brand new YouTube video for y'all today. Now I'm back with the new damn story time. And today, boys, we're going to be talking about the time I almost died hiking. Kind of on a cliff, kind of not really. But if y'all do enjoy this video anyway and anyhow, just like last video, please drop a like, share out the video. And if y'all are new, hit the sub button and the bell. Shit means the world. Shit means a lot. And yeah, without further ado, let's get fucking into this. So this all started off first week of winter vacation. It was me and my boy George, and if y'all don't know him, he was actually my boy on my first vlog, and if you guys want to go check that out, I have that link down in the description down below. Go check that shit out. It's old. It's trash, but if y'all do want to see more vlogs, let me know, and if y'all want to see him in more videos, let me know as well. So when I got to his house, we decided, you know what? We're going to have a great day. We rolled up like three blunts, one backwood, and fucking headed off onto our adventure in the woods. Now listen, there's snow all over the ground, okay, it's nice scenery, there's no leaves on the trees. Honestly, it was a great sight. If I do have any pictures on my phone, I will put them up on screen because honestly, this place was amazing, beautiful. I'm not going to reveal the location of the trail, just for privacy reasons, it is behind someone's house that we do have to sneak by, but once we get past there, it was smooth sailing. It was just straight smooth sailing. But once we get there, we hop the fence. And now we're in the woods, okay? We're in the wild, wild west, okay? If this was summertime, this would be tick heaven, but it's not, okay? All these ticks are dead. They're in the ground right now doing whatever it is they do. And we're just treading on our way. About 30 minutes and we see a deer. Not something that we normally see, but we kind of just stood there and admired it because honestly, nature is fucking beautiful. But we get to our cliff, okay? We get to the nice ass smoking spot. We we're just able to look down at this amazing view has ponds, rivers, they're all frozen over. You have like other bays that are just filled with snow more than others. And it just looks like a canvas that you see in like a fucking museum or some shit. But in real life, if that makes any sense. We take off our backpacks. We use our coats as like a little thing to sit on. He sits on his, I sit on mine. We take out the blunts in the backwood and we get the sparking right away. To be honest, I don't even know what we were really smoking. For all I know, we could have been smoking mids or fake runs, but honestly, anything got me smacked back then so it does it didn't even matter you feel me could have painted a rock green and that shit would have got me smacked you know what i'm saying hey, listen i want to point something out really fast me and my boy were not cold at all okay we had double pairs of sweatpants double socks boots thermals sweaters and the coats underneath us as like a blanket type shit me and him were chilling but yeah like 30 40 minutes into the smoke stash i'm heaven sent i'm smacked and you know what i get the idea of hey you know what i'm gonna go near the cliff and pretend to jump and, and, and make it seem like I'm, I'm about to just do a full fucking dolphin dive like in Black Ops 2 off of this damn mountain, okay? He said, Dom, if you even try that shit, you're so smacked, you're gonna fall down. And listen, George tried to warn me numerous times, told me not to, told me I was stupid for doing it. But you know what? I was too smacked and didn't care. I was pretending like I was about to jump. And out of nowhere, I feel the ground disappear, okay? Now, this is where things get scary. I try to step, but you know, my step isn't touching the floor, okay? So you're probably like, Dom, where'd you go? If you guess down the mountain, you guessed right. I started tumbling in a barrel roll, and then out of nowhere, I just see myself spiraling like a fucking Beyblade. I was in a starfish position, Beyblading down this hill, and I almost banged my head on two rocks. And halfway down the hill, I kind of just gave up. I was like, you know what? If I die, I die. Okay, this is my time. Then it's my time. And I can't even imagine it from my boy's view. He he came down. He literally slid down the hill to come get me to make sure I was fine. I was perfectly fine. Like, I didn't hit anything. But it was just the fact that my heart fell out of my ass, okay? It low-key ruined my high a bit. I'm not even going to cap. I was still smacked, but you know what I'm saying. Thankfully, we still had one blunt left. We smoked that on the way back and honestly laughed about it the whole walk back. If there's honestly anything you should take away from this story, it's don't ever try to pretend to jump off a cliff because chances are you're going to fall off and chances are you're not going to get as lucky as I did. Don't ever get near cliffs if you are. Keep your distance. And with that said, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If y'all did anyway, anyhow, please smack a like on it. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm sorry if this was a short video. I just wanted to pump something out because I actually am on a tolerance break. And I'm going to let you guys know throughout the week how I'm feeling. I've been recording myself. So hopefully that video does come out. If it doesn't come out, just know I'm on a tolerance break. That's why I'm like bringing out a story time. Might make another one. 
And yeah, it's been your boy Dom and I'm out. Peace.